By the way, it's a three-set match. If they get to one set or two regular sets, they play a match tie-break, first to ten, or a champion's tie-break, whatever you want to call it. But two regular tie-break sets to begin with. Solid start for Edberg. Yeah, we'll never get sick of that server section. It's, it's sort of, I don't know, he does a strange tilt with his body and swing with, with the, the shape of his racket head. It just all doesn't add up, yet yeah. it, the end result is always so good. And, and, and judging by his career and all his success and the amount of times his, I don't know what his service percent success rate, you know, but it would be very high being such a strong server. He was known to be a very strong server when he was playing and in the current oh, Champions Tour. Yeah, there's an argument that maybe in the modern game, players are overcoached. Absolutely. Every serve for every player is a fingerprint. There are no two the same, but I'm just amazed that some haven't tried to get close to aping McEnroe's serve because the disguise on it is ridiculous. I know. It's actually a very good point you've made there because the reason it's so good is because his shoulder his shoulder, his back is turned to you, so you can't pick where it's going to go. Yeah. Ball toss is the same. Ball toss is the same. Every single time, slice, tee, second serve, first serve, body serve. And the way he unleashes his body means his first step forward to the volley yeah. is explosive. He unravels it so well. he's got a stiff neck which he's giving a bit of a rub to we know that but he, he plays like he's got a stiff neck even when he hasn't got one <laughs> it's the way he sort of bunts the ball around the place it is it's all short backswing and all follow through isn't it, it it's, it's it's just you can't replicate it I know we'll, we've said that a few times but with McEnroe's strokes you can't replicate him Berg hadn't got a clue where that was going. He just reacted to once the ball came off the racket and then it's too late. He's looking pretty dapper, isn't he? Yellow's the in colour this year. Brilliant. Fantastic from McEnroe. The court coverage, the pick up, the hands, the stretch here, we'll see. And then the anticipation. We'll see the, the grunts and the groans that, that John will show us throughout the match, but yet he just gets on with it at next point and he'll be chasing everything down. Just letting everybody know <laughs> if they weren't here last night. Yeah, that was a painful move. He's travelling with the neck again, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he is. I mean, once he got a set against LeConte last night, he knew he was going to make the final, so he didn't want to risk not being able to really perform well by giving himself as much time off, I guess. Yes, I think that was smart, but mm. it's a real worrying for the tournament, worrying for the fans right now. Hopefully he doesn't keep holding that neck. Oh. It's in. Body shot. <laughs> it was called the tube in their day. Probably still is, isn't it? Yeah, the tag these days. <laughs> is it? The tag, is it? <laughs> the tag. Yeah. In these days, you, you get, I remember the Burditch and Almagro in oh. Australia last year, yeah. I think it was. Where Refused just, to shake hands, yeah. Oh, gosh. It, people take it very personally. It's, a, it's an effective shot. Yeah, absolutely. Legitimate shot. Strike while the next saw, I think, is Edberg's brief to himself right here. Yes, he's done well. He's got some good returns down to the feet, forcing McEnroe to play half volleys, which 
he's more than capable of doing, but it's not an easy feat to pick them up after coming in off your serve. Mm, that's surprising. Good solid first volley to get to the net. But he's just... He's sore. You can see it. He is. And we see him clutching at his right shoulder again, the trap muscles at the back of the, the neck. Very difficult to play tennis with the sore neck because it, you need it in every movement for your, not just your serve. When you're turning for a forehand or a backhand or down for a volley, it's an awkward injury. Do have Hawkeye here? No. No Hawkeye last night. No. God, I miss Hawkeye. He had Cyclops, didn't he, or whatever they called it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Took that one early, didn't he? Man, he's looking, looked to come in, but it was a very good second serve from Stefan. It caught the line, got the stare from McEnroe, the, the glare of was it in. Brilliant. Through the eye of a needle. What a shot this was. Two steps, bang. Surprised Edberg's not got a stiff neck with this surf. <laughs> it is so unique, isn't it? The head turn. There. But classy volleys, well, there's not many better. This is what I love about Stefan Edberg. We see the sneak. We're going to see it again and again where he just senses that his po opponent, Macron in this case, was off balance and therefore not knowing what Stefan's doing. So as he's, as he's turning, hitting the shot, Edberg's at the net. <laughs> How good is that? Taste of his own medicine. Wow. See here, Edberg's turning. He's at, he's at the net. It's the take back and the volleys. There's nothing. Yeah. It's getting hot now, Edberg. out. She's got no choice really with that grip. No, that's a really special point from Edberg. He constructed it so well with length. Quite... People say that players of his generation can't hit the in-to-out forehand. It's a very popular shot in the modern day game, isn't it? To, to attack the backhand of a right-handed player. But as proved there, Stefan is more than capable of it. Nice. Three love it is for Edberg. And points being won with quality. It's just a vast array of bowling, isn't it? Forward, backwards, low, high. Finishing the short angle. Good stuff. Three love Edberg. We'll be back. The great Bjorn Borg, friends to all of these guys, of course, courtside with a wry smile on his face. Do you remember the tie break? 1980 Wimbledon final. If you haven't seen it, YouTube it. You have to watch it. It's a must. You... Most people can talk about every point. Yeah. That match. It's an incredible tie break. A little bit wayward the first five games, hasn't he, John? Mm. He's missed a few shots that he's slightly uncharacteristic. He's not. He's ambling around a little bit too much. He's.
holding his neck and complaining at the crowd, but we're used to that. But just in terms of his few errors that we wouldn't expect. Yeah. Still quite a bit of noise courtside. They're gutsy spectators, this lot. <laughs> Taking him on head to head. <laughs> Just a look, then a stare. That young man's aged about five years as we speak. <laughs> Is there going to be a conversation? A bit of abuse? He's asking the umpire how he saw it. Furthest line from the chair. Sure is tough. God, the slicing McEnroe serve. I wouldn't like to be the umpire. Say that. <laughs> Surprised he's not sitting there with a crash helmet on. He's rattled. He's being outplayed. He's stiff. He's hurting. Stefan Edberg, so much credit. He knows, he can sense this. He's keeping the ball in, not making errors. Genius at capitalizing on situations like this. That's a great serve, isn't it? Crowd wanting a bit more from him. Whichever way they get it. Fierce competitor, McEnroe, isn't he? he just, oh. as we say, no matter what, he doesn't enjoy these situations when he's losing. Just held his position there brilliantly because the line was begging for a forehand, but he outfoxed Edward. First pick up there, no backswing. As you say, it was begging there, but McEnroe read it. He anticipated it. I find it great to see the anticipation we see with Murray and Djokovic, who arguably are the best anticipators from the baseline. And here we've got two of the best anticipators from the net. Yeah. He's played very well these last three points. Didn't want to go 5-1 down. Someone in the hand, someone in the crowd, got the hands on the ball there. I wonder if they would keep that as a little memento, yeah. as they do in baseball. Yeah. Unfortunately, in tennis, they seem to want them back. <laughs> okay. McEnroe holds, keeps it to the single break. The deficit. Yeah, it's a very good game. Did well, didn't he? Shows the fist pump there. Now, talk of the devil. Bjorn Borg, courtside. Bring back memories for you, everybody. Any swooning going on? <laughs> Borg mania when they ran onto the centre court at Wimbledon. Those were the days. Oh, what a champion. Harold Solomon, Eddie Dibbs, when they used to arrive for the Wembley tournament indoors in the winter, arrived at Heathrow in their long fur coats, hats on. Surely Sweden's greatest sportsman of all time. Yeah, yeah, I'll be with you there. Yeah, downhill skiers as well. The ball's got to be right up there, isn't he? 
I mean, amazingly, and we'll, you know, there's so much to talk about. I mean, the tennis is good too, but there, there wasn't one Swedish man in the main draw at the Australian Open this year. Not one with surdling off with this um, uh, glandular fever. Mono, as they call it. Only two years now. Shame, isn't it? It's amazing. You know, it's not just Britain that's struggling or Australia that's struggling to produce players. It's, uh, it's a lot of places. Yeah, considering when we look at Magnus Norman, Nicholas Coulty, Magnus Larsson, Stefan Edberg, Magnus Gustafsson, Bjorn mm. Borgham, the players are endless. Mm. That's Wallanda. Yeah, it really was a conveyor belt, wasn't it? And now, as you say, we're struggling to find any players in the top 300 in the world, mm. let alone top 10. Oh, he's made it. This time on the line. There's no way that gentleman was going to call that one out. He's gone up a level, hasn't he, Mac? Since 1 4 15 30, the fist pumps come out. The aggression's increased. He's ready to go. So intimidating how early he's taking his returns. He's standing inside the baseline. Yeah, and there's no doubt he's changed the mindset of Edberg, who, who double faults to gift the break back. It works in the old days, it works present day. So back on track McEnroe, so he'd probably be happier now and quieter at 3-4 first set. Yes, he's done well, he's done really well. His game's better, his body feels better, he's loosened up. New balls. Very quiet in here now as well. It's a lovely volley. How many times has McEnroe done that play? Yeah. Get to the net, deep volley, close in. Just watchable sail over his shoulders. <laughs> Edberg never had a rant in his life, but he'd almost understand if it was his turn. Now the match is on McEnroe's terms. Oh, can you imagine McEnroe playing McEnroe? <laughs> never thought about that. <laughs> You'd need earplugs. Brilliant. Again, the steering and using of the pace. Fantastic, isn't it? Great to watch. Just the accuracy, perfection. I was actually just in my mind as you said that, Chris, just thinking about someone who I can, who replicates McEnroe's attitude and, and, and anger and emotion. I couldn't even think of one person. They broke the mold. I mean, people, when he was playing in his heyday, they either loved him or they hated him because they thought it was gamesmanship. They said he was deliberately putting the opponent off. You, you, it's very difficult not to be stuck in either the love or the hate camps. I think as he's got older, people have loved him more that used to hate him. Yes. Do you think he he went too far sometimes back in the day when yeah. he was playing? I think back then, and I think that's why the game became a little too sterilised in terms of the rulings and, and the attitudes and everything. So that's when you started hearing conversations about the lack of personalities and you weren't allowed to express yourself because you're going to get fined and this and that. And I think it was down to him yeah. that it became sterilised. But arguably nowadays players would love a character like him. Exactly. People... Well, which court's going to be full? On, a, on an order of play. Absolutely. No one would miss McEnroe. Yeah. 
And when your very good friend Andy Murray, when he first burst onto the scene with the, the histrionics as they called it and everything else, the cramping and everything, it's always a packed house when he played. Even before he got his ranking anywhere near top 50, he couldn't a, get on the court. I know, it was a young boy. People called him spoilt. People said that he was moaning, faking injuries. But whether he was or he wasn't, people loved it. Absolutely. Everyone talked about it. Absolutely. And to go with his success and the results that followed, it just turned into a success story. Yeah. And now people are growing to love him because of, it's just passion, it's raw passion. Mm. And that's what Mac has. Yeah, and they're, they're understanding Andy more. Mm. As they do McEnroe. The commentaries obviously help Mac. It's very good, it's Mac. I'm sure you've worked with him. Yeah. Makes you think, I can tell you. I think champions like McEnroe, Edberg, Murray, when I talk to to Andy these days, just about tennis in general, when we're sitting on the couch, feeds up, just talking. They have a different point of view. They're a different mindset of tactics and how the game is played and perceived as well. That is just brilliance. He's convinced it was wide. Again. It's now Hawkeye Mac <laughs> pointing at a scoreboard. Ooh, I think he's got a case, hasn't he? On the replay. A strong case. Yeah, cover your eyes, cover your <laughs> cover yourself, line judge. <laughs> that one was out. It'd be great fun if line judge was sitting on trap doors. <laughs> they made a bit of a howler. Pull the lever. Uh, in that old tournament in Wembley, when they used to have men ball boying, they had tennis rackets with all the strings cut out and fishing nets on the back so they didn't have to bend, they scooped the ball up. And they also had with the line judges, if there was a bad call or a dodgy one, that lines judge was instantly replaced with a new line no judge. No way. Yeah. Wow. Edberg holds, stops the run of three games against him. And McEnroe will have to hold serve to stay in this fascinating opening set. Well, it's a full house, pretty much, and they're all enjoying themselves enormously in this final of the Champions Tour Kings of Tennis in Stockholm. Edberg raced a three love, four one lead. Stiff neck from McEnroe last night. He's over that now, and we have a real contest at 4 5. Is that the first ace? I think it could be. He served that one out wide well, hasn't he? Hmm. Edberg, and anyone who plays any lefty with a good serve always covers the slice. So it's the T to the juice and the, the wide to the add. And if you can thread that one. You're in for some free points. Defense here. Look at the replay. I could have sworn it hit his wraps. Edberg saying I'd have liked to have hit it, but I didn't. <laughs> no baseline judge that end, either end. No. Even more pressure on yeah. the Danish umpire. a bit of pace off that serve, didn't he? He did, yeah. He tried to bend it round the middle. Use the extra slice. Turn that body a bit more. Couldn't get the accuracy. 
big difference in that one foot, almost six inches almost. If you can get it on the end of the Edberg strings, weak reply would come. Oops. Well, overshot that one. Oh, it's so good for the pair of them. Fantastic. Quite sublime, really. I mean, the court cover is a little bit fortunate there, but now look how low he is around the net. It's like a constant squatting position. Always in hindsight. Should have gone the other way. Should have lobbed. But Stefan Edberg read it. And his reward is two set points. Oh! It's a Swedish net. Apologizes for the stroke of luck, and it seals the opening set, much to uh, McEnroe's disdain. 6 4 Edberg. McEnroe to defend the title has got to come from behind. Welcome back. Super opening first set, Ross. It was high class, high quality. Edberg got up early, but constantly just kept his nose in front and showed his class at the end, didn't he, with those volleys and put the pressure on Mac. alert Edberg with all his career he's hitting balls wondering can I come forward can I come forward it's the footwork it's impressive I always talk about every player has got an, a twin an evil twin Ivan Izovic at Wimbledon that year, I mean, he was one of three, wasn't he? Or maybe even four, all the different personalities. Yeah. McEnroe's amazing at making his work for him. Yes. Because he's obviously got someone in there talking, and he sort of gets it out there, and they're working together to turn things around. And his timing to choose which one of them <laughs> yeah. at which moment is perfect. <laughs> see with, with great players with great champions of the game they just they go up in standard when they feel like they need to so he's here McEnroe just senses opportunity to get a break up he wouldn't want to let the Swede get ahead of him here in Sweden is that length you talked about earlier subconscious awareness whether to volley deep or short then we'll go deep and then we'll go short often my coach talks to me these days about volleying shorter and deeper and it's something that isn't easily learnt mm. and then a short angle off the wide serve it's just classic old-fashioned tennis no, it takes time and time I've been trying it for years now and when you're playing against people that serve and stay back in doubles, I mean, so many players do it now, you have to volley shorter. And as we see there with Stefan, just, the ball sh just shoots off the court at such an angle, it's not possible to get retrieved. And we should mention Ross after the first game of this second set your battle off the court I'm sure everybody is uh, really 
wishing you well and looking to get you back onto a doubles court. You've been top 30 and knocking on quarters of majors and so on. And how's it all going? It's going well, thanks, Chris. Thanks for asking. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing well. I'm halfway through my treatment plan of six months of chemotherapy down at the Royal Marsden in Sutton. Um, so now I'm, I'm staying positive, staying fit, and or trying to stay fit and, and have a good end result. But I'm, I'm staying sort of mentally strong. That's my mm. main aim. And I'm keeping busy off court. I've got a very good project at the Queen's Club this summer after the finals, the men's final, and then followed by the Rally Against Cancer, an event I'm, I'm performing and putting on with Tim Henman and Andy Murray, two of our greatest players, playing in a doubles match together. Yes, yeah, brilliant. So, uh, well done, really and uh, everybody's wishing you well. Thanks, Chris. Once again, but Edberg's hitting so cleanly, and then he just makes his move forward. You almost can't afford to be stuck at the back, can he, mate? No, you can't. Against Stefan Edberg, if, if you don't come forward, he will. Yeah. He will put the pressure on. But it's not like he doesn't have ground strokes. He's got very good ground strokes, very clean hitter of the ball. And it's the use of them. He knows his game inside out. Mm. It's the same shot production all the time. It's a sign of a great player. Know your limits and know your strengths. Yeah. He's under pressure again here, McEnroe. And he's staying back, which is surprising. Mm. He came out with some stunning tennis to get back in the first set where he came forward, made some good returns, changed momentum, but it seems like when he's stuck at the back, he's just coming off second best. Ridiculous that angle. It's outstanding play, isn't it? He thought about the backhand and coming in, didn't he? Yeah, exactly. Well, McEnroe was actually on top in this point. Before he knows it, he's back in that side stand again. <laughs> Lovely arena, as you commented earlier, Chris, and it's so enclosed with the singles lines and the, the dark exterior. It makes you feel so close to the players, and it's a really good setup. And obviously of late there's been a lot of talk about drug testing and, and so on, but this is a legal drug that is very, very difficult to give up. Mm. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. They have dinners together, they revisit old times and old matches perhaps, and camaraderie, amazing, because the entourages weren't the same back then either. I'm not saying that negatively about today, I'm just saying it was different. And, and your entourage was your fellow competitors. You would beat each other up, but then go and have dinner with each other. Mm. I think it's partly negative nowadays that people don't spend more time with each other. You see each other mm. every day of every week, almost. Mm. How's that for a lot? You could chase that for a week and get never near it. It's an outstanding game from Stefan Edberg. Had his opponent on a piece of string. He hasn't lobbed yet to this match. But thought, now's my time. Hold the racket heads. Over you go. There's the break. Hmm. He's played very well so far, hasn't he, these really first has. 12 games? Yeah. Oh, did he put a foot wrong? I mean, the speed, once you hear the sound of the ball being hit to the service line, still blows me away. It did, watching him in his heyday, it does today.
I mean, the first two steps forwards is, is unbelievable. If people who obviously have been on a tennis court before know the distance between a baseline and a service line. It's quite a big distance. Yeah. Stefan Edberg does it in two steps <laughs> after his serve. It is amazing. Split step, another couple of steps, and he's halfway between service line and net for the volley. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Two steps, a split step, two more steps, as you say. Power in those legs. He's 47 years old. That's quite incredible. Oh. Fancy that one. You very seldom see him take that on, that type of shot. To have a chip here and a block there. And a that shows how good he's feeling on the court maybe today. Yeah, yeah. Something a bit special for his home crowd. Once again, we see how difficult it is to pass the Swede. Think either of these have a nice bath? <laughs> if they haven't, got, think they've got modern with recovery treatments. <laughs> if they haven't, I wouldn't advise them to. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it's not nice on the toes. <laughs> and the reason I say toes is because that's where the numbness comes in and the the sheer pain of it and the rest of the body's okay but the, t the toes is what gets you if ever to <laughs> end, all our viewers who who were thinking about having an ice bath wear the socks <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i think i'll be going in there with my thermals on bobble hat Fabulous. McEnroe at his best. Really, really is outstanding play from John McEnroe. McEnroe's struggled a little bit so far. We've, we've commented how he's gone in and out of form so far, but when he's on, he's unplayable. Yeah. Just he cannot seem to maintain it so far. Oh, what a shame! Did all the hard work. <laughs> Can't believe it. <laughs> Scampering everywhere. And then the easy one inside the service line. Total miss hit. There's an imposter up the other end for the overhead. Just shows you the value of chasing everything down. Many players in the modern game would have given up on that point. Brilliance from John McEnroe once again. He's gone up a level that he has. Just biding his time. What a volley. There's no space there, Stefan. <laughs> I think both players feel this is a pivotal moment. <laughs> Stefan <laughs> needs his breath. I think he's going to need the chaise lounge at the next sit down. <laughs> but John, but there's a fiddle. <laughs> yeah. 
He says he's training very hard. He really is as fit as he can possibly be. He's got a brilliant setup in in New York. I've been to his his club last year to practice there with Andy. We we trained there a few times when it was raining. That's the fatigue. Yeah, absolutely. He he needed more time. He needed the crowd to get the clap going. I don't know, McEnroe <laughs> to talk to someone in the bar at that moment. Come on, Mac, you choose this time to talk to someone. <laughs> Break point. He'd give Usain Bolt a run for his money over three yards. Amazing. Even Mackin, I think, just raising his eyes. It's that go-to play, isn't it? Make mm. the first serve. Get in tight to the net. The rest is easy for a player of his quality. Amazing. They both reach number one. A decade apart. McEnroe in 80, Hedberg in 90. <laughs> McEnroe, Hedberg, <laughs> is it doubles? <laughs> Ross, get out there. I'd love to be on the other end of that. <laughs> Don't know who I target, but... <laughs> Bradnam Hutchins versus McEnroe, Hedberg. <laughs> Take that. As long as I play right court. It's a tough game. Both players know the importance, don't they? A few errors, some great points, but so often we see it in matches change at the start of the second set. Here we have Stefan Edberg, a set and two love. Game points, break points, game points. Back to Juice. It's just brilliant. And it's frustrating to say the least. When you're up against this wall and albatross at the net. Talks about there, the short one. If he had volleyed deep there, he would have been passed. <laughs> Lost his dumby, is he? Oh, no, it's the bat. <laughs> That's what happens, John, when you throw out this so many times. <laughs> Four daughters and two sons. Hope they're not watching. I'm sure they've seen it before if they're not. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's becoming a play. McEnroe getting in on the Edberg backhand. The rehearsal to try and make that work. But it's that's why he goes to the net so much himself. Because he knows that is the area that, that players can get to him on. Exactly, and, and we spoke about it a couple of games ago. Mac has to come forward. Mac now keep progressing forward to get back into this match. And then it's down to his talent to be able to pick, hit those pickups. Oh, just the way he laid the racket back. Stunning. That was amazing skill. The appreciation. He knew. Everyone in the crowd knew how special this was. Approaching the ball down low makes it look so easy. If I hit that shot, Colin would be applauding me for hours. <laughs> Colin, my doubles partner. Just long. Well, that mini battle again goes to Edberg. Set and three love now. Such admiration in the applause. So final still very much on. Got an injured Edberg, a resurgent McEnroe, setting three, four down. Flush. Pretty handy that. Probably still thinking about it. <laughs> Can't believe how well he hit. <laughs> the best kick I've ever done.
just threaded again. The merest of flicks. It's a magical shot this was. Got his body out of the way. Oh. One thing we haven't talked about, Chris, is how to qualify for the Champions Tour. You, know, you have to have been a singles player on a winning Davis Cup team, former number one singles player in the world, or a Grand Slam champion. It's not easy to be in that club. Yeah, that's a good point. It really is a special club. They have wild cards. Mansour Barami and, and so on. Jeremy Bates has been a wild card on occasion especially for London, the Albert Hall and so on, but it is a very special club. Okay, That's a pretty special break that's uh, got... Ad <laughs> pumped up, it's got McEnroe riled. Wow! Apologies again. What an aggressive game. Look at the emotion. Yeah, look at it. <laughs> the contrast. <laughs> you love him or you hate him? Yeah. I love him. <laughs> Here we have Edberg serving for the match. Yeah. Who would have thought this? Four breaks in a row that was. Yeah. Serving for the match. It's a horrible caption, isn't it? Banging his head on the floor. <laughs> Always the toughest game to win. Yeah. That maze in your mind suddenly sprouts everywhere, doesn't it? You see the finish line. Think about the trophy. No matter how many times you've done it before. Good recovery. Did well. Couple of miss hits, but did well. Got enough of the strings. Six majors for Redberg. 42 titles. 77 titles for McEnroe. Seven majors. That's just in singles. Quite outstanding. Two doubles. Wow. Well, in the first set, served two double faults to get broken then. Yeah, he did. When he, he was up 4 2. Mm. Both to the juice side. And two more this game to the juice side. No way was McEnroe going to miss a ball in that point. There was so much safety, but it was absolutely at the right time. It was. 15.30, serving for the match. Do not give your opponent a free point. And you said it exactly. He wasn't going to miss, and you knew it. Two break points. Oh. <laughs> it's a magnificent shot. Stayed so low through this shot. I mean, the timing and the touch. What a treat for everybody this has been. second serve wasn't it right into the jam body left hip two points from the title
Could you believe it? What is it about this right call? And a three poor second serves for a man of his quality. Halfway up the net. Another lifeline for McEnroe. He's asked. He's asked beyond. Seriously, was it in or out? Don't Oops. say nothing. <laughs> don't reply. Don't ask me. <laughs> Pretend you don't understand. <laughs> He's lost the butt of that handle again. Tough to tell from that angle. He was convinced it was long. Great serve, though. It was. So three doubles, break point. <laughs> <laughs> no more. No, please. <laughs> I'd be very careful. His serve is that accurate. Picked it, didn't he? Yeah, he really did. Right on it, didn't move. He almost took a step over there. Cheers. He's had more trouble, as we've seen, picking it this side. And he's so much more comfortable, it seems, serving that way. Whether that's anything to do with his leg. Well, I think it's just his, his actual action. Yeah. Enables Edberg to be able to hit the flat one out wide to the ad court but on the deuce court he seems to struggle hitting the tee the flat mm. one down the tee yeah he does oh, that was in there for sure that was gonna happen commentators <laughs> curse and all that you talked him into that one ross first ace of the match on the deuce court and it sets up championship point How's that for a point? Brilliance for McEnroe. Doesn't want to leave Stockholm. Rightly so. Point of the match to oh. keep him in the match. Stunning. So graciously accepted to the other end. Second championship point. I'm whispering it quietly. <laughs> so I was speechless. <laughs> He's got him. The king of Stockholm last year is dethroned. We have a new king in the form of Stefan Edberg.
everybody is getting to their feet here and if they're not they should be that was special the skills on display the mannerisms they haven't changed the attitudes neither they embrace for the moment we have just seen a wonderful final we certainly have what two champions one champion right now in Stockholm we've had a treat two very good sets of tennis take a bow Stefan Edberg